And it's first off, how's the eye and just how physical of a game was that? I mean, I know going up against Embiid, it's always a battle, but this was a real physical one tonight. Yeah, the eye is good, man. I'm a Turkish warrior, <laughs> you know, so that little cousin is not going to keep me out from being out there with my teammates. But uh, obviously, this was like a like a playoff atmosphere out there. You know, I think we did everything we can to just obviously stop a guy like that. Not just me, but like uh, stopping a guy like that is just a whole team effort. And I think, you know, not just me, but my whole team has did an amazing job are just communicating and trusting each other, not just offensive and but defensive and they did an unbelievable job. So I'm really proud of them. I want to give a huge and a special shout out to Jizzle. Uh, we call him Jizzle. Uh, Harry Giles, he did an amazing job, man. He always ready, very professional. Every time out, he brings so much energy on, on, and, uh, on and off the floor, both ends on the floor. So um, I'm proud of him. You know, he's he's been amazing for us. So uh, we're uh, lucky to have a guy like that. Next question is coming from Casey Holdall of Trailblazers.com. Uh, Ennis, how would you how would you describe that fourth quarter for you guys? Uh, you go on, you're down by three points. Uh, you, you talk about a playoff-like atmosphere, but uh, obviously a, 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 a real tight fourth quarter. You guys are able to pull out. How would you how would you kind of characterize it? You know, I think one thing uh, we know, like the whole world knows, that we're gonna score the ball. And obviously, you know, when when you guys have when you have guys like Dame and you know, like now Grant is stepping up and stepping up. Melo obviously always says, uh, steps up, but like when you guys guys like that, the offensive end becomes so easy. But I think for us to get to the next level. Of, Defensive win. We've been uh, talking about how important the uh, defense is, obviously, since the beginning of the uh, training camp. And I think right now the, the important thing was just communication and uh, trust in each other. So that's what we did in the uh, fourth quarter. Thanks, Anna. Next question is coming from AJ McCord with Coin6. And as what does Roko owe you? Hey, so <laughs> uh, I was the reason that he got a concussion and a uh, broken nose uh, in Knicks game, you know? So I I hooked, um, what's, uh, what's this guy's name? The big man. Um, no, 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 the, the with the Knicks. Um, oh. Not Mitchell Robertson, but the other guy. The left-handed guy. I forgot, I forgot his name. Julius Randle. Julius Randle, yeah, there you go. So I hooked his hand and he just, his hand and just uh, hit Ro Rocco's face and broke his nose. So like, we even now, so we cool. All right, last question is coming from Dwight James with NBC Sports Northwest. Annis, that cut on your eye, let's put this in wrestling terms. First of all, it looked like you it looked like you bladed. And number two, you didn't wipe it off. Like the wrestlers never wipe it off. They just let exactly. it drain down into their eyes and stuff. Did you, you know, feel like you'd gone <laughs> a couple of uh, falls with somebody? You know, I walk in a locker room, uh, the guy's like, he's getting ready for his wrestling career you know he was tasting the blood he did not wipe out he was smiling so he's getting ready for his uh, wrestling career no man i love it you know just that, that's my game just going out there play uh, physical and uh you know to channel everything i can to just uh, bring a uh, bring a win for my teammates you know so that that little cause not going to keep me out but uh it is actually it was actually really cool to just you know just being out there with all that blood so i, I see like i'm thinking about like undertaker triple age i'm thinking about you know all these guys just the blood coming out on their face and the wrestling. So, hey, I like that a lot. I must send that to uh, Triple H and Vince McMahon, see what they think. <laughs>